This part looks exactly like there's a bevel on it, doesn't it? We can select this entire surface in the front and we're going to inset that, okay, with I. I'm going to show you basically how you can achieve this bevel effect without actually creating too many bevels and without actually messing up the mesh too much, okay? So we take this hull of the tank, let's just take that object, everything else is parented to that, but the hull of the tank is just this simple blocky object right here, okay? And if we shade this object as smooth, of course, it starts looking stupid, right? It kind of just looks like a melted piece of metal. It doesn't. It, it doesn't look realistic at all, right? This is definitely not. This is definitely not the, the look that we want, right? Now, one thing that we can do on an object like this, the same way that when we add a cube, right, and we bevel it, it starts the edges start uh, shading smoothly. But instead of actually adding a bevel, we just have to tell Blender that there's another edge over here. We just have to create another edge. And then it's going to decide that this edge should not be that wide. Like, so basically when you add smooth shading, it, it shades an edge as if it's a round edge. Okay. So when I shade this object smooth, right, it's going to try to shade it as a sphere, right? Because it's going to try to pretend like there's a bevel all the way from over here to over here. There's nothing stopping it. Right. But if we add some loop cuts, then it's only going to pretend like there's a bevel from here to here, right? It's only going to be like a narrow bevel. It's going to be shaded like a very small bevel, right? So if we add some loop cuts around all the edges of this cube, right? Like this, we just add a bunch of little loop cuts. And we just bring them very close to the edges, the closer the better. You see how it, it looks like it's actually beveled even though it's not. The edges are completely sharp, it's just 90 degrees. Even if we have a slight bevel over here, right? It looks pretty much the same as it does with a with a with an edge which is not beveled, which just has a sharp edge, right? Now listen, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the body of this tank, right? Since we can't bevel everything. Also, by the way, if we bevel this, the reason another reason why we can't bevel this is because look, if we select all the angles here, let's select all the sharp angles on this model. Well, let's just let's just as an example select a couple of these, right? And we try to bevel this, what's going to happen is we're going to get some really nasty geometry. We're going to get some really bad topology problems, right? We're going to get little triangles and shit, and we don't want that. That's really going to mess up things for us. We also can't really undo them or anything like that. <coughs> but what we can do is do just the same thing that we just did with the cube, right? So we can add a loop cut right here, and we can just pull it down like this. We can add another loop cut right here. We can add another loop cut right here. Now, I don't really like adding loop cuts like this because it's also going to mess up with my shading up here a little bit, right? So that's kind of a problem. So if I just add loop cuts, we're going to also get this. We're also going to get some of this really weird, uh, weird topology up here. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that everywhere, you know. But what we can do is we can select this entire surface in the front, okay? We're going to select every face over there. And we're going to inset that, okay, with I. So you press I. And it basically just inserts, insets the faces so it moves them inwards and basically makes a little separation between that face and the edge outside, right? And now it's basically as if you added the loop cut and just push it to the side, right? So if we do the same thing on the other face over here, like this, right? This part looks exactly like there's a bevel on it, doesn't it? If you look at this over here, now there's still a bit of trouble because this part is not shaded smoothly, but you understand where we're getting at with this, right? So we, now we're going to do the same thing on the top here. Okay, we're going to select all the faces on top of the tank just because we want to have the same effect going on. We're going to select everything here. And we're going to slightly inset all the faces here. Okay. And then again, we get a nice looking bevel kind of uh, texture over here. And it just looks a lot better, right? Auto smooth and mark sharp might help, but yeah, but then we just get sharp edges, right? So we want to we want to make the edges look nice and round. So we basically just have to select all the flat surfaces and just kind of slightly inset them so we have these little bevels everywhere. And that's going to make the model look absolutely phenomenal.